Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and today we have for you a 1998 Volvo S90 with a 3 litre V6 engine. These are very expensive cars when they were new, and I'll, I'll show you why. Uh, this is silver in colour with black leather interior, and it's got wood grain everywhere. It's got a full service history from new. It's got two keys with remotes, and every single service has been at a Volvo dealer. I think the last five or ten we'd at, were at uh, Scuderia Volvo. As you can see, it's got electric seats, memory seats on the driver's side. It's even got a slightly different piping around the seat, if you can see it in the video here. It's got a nice light, sort of silver grey piping around the seat to match the outside, which looks great. Um, this one's got the Volvo Premium Sound. Volvos generally do have very good sound systems. As you can see on the gearbox, it's got um, a very reliable four-speed gearbox. You've got your economy mode, sport mode, and you've got a winter mode. I would think that the winter mode um, function means it starts off in second gear. Um, it does have heated seats as well, heated mirrors, it does have a sunroof. It's got a wood grain steering wheel. Back in 98, it was one of the earlier cars to have a wood grain steering wheel. It just looks absolutely fantastic, and these are such good value. Now, so here's your logbook. There's one of the keys. There's also another key in the ignition. So this is your service booklet. So as you can see here, the last service done only a month or two ago was at Scuderia Veloce Volvo in Linfield. So was the last one at 168 and the one before that at 160, etc. It really does look very good. It's a very detailed history right through. So I'd like to think if you were in the market for a Volvo, especially an S90, um, you know, you'd have to buy one of these. This is just in absolutely amazing condition and one of the most important things when buying any European car especially Volvo is its service history they must have a good service history even if the cars are very cheap on the internet it is imperative you get one with a good service history which this absolutely does have it's got Pirelli tyres all the way around it's got loads of leg room in the back as I said these were incredibly expensive when they were new and I think they were up against you know, the E-Class, sort of between the E-Class and the S-Class series. It's got a rear blind as well, very nice soft leather. Soft leather generally ages pretty quickly, uh, but this all seems to be in very good condition indeed. It's travelled 187,000 Ks, yet you'd certainly never know it, and with the service history like this that doesn't matter at all. It's got good registration, I think the S90 um, was just the, the slightly newer series of what was called the 960, which was a very nice car indeed. I drove one quite a few years ago, and um, yeah, I was very impressed with the performance. There's your spare wheel, full-size spare, which is fantastic. Your jack and everything's there. As you can see, you've got a ski hatch in the back there. So yeah, the 3 litre V6 is very very smooth yet very economical it's much better than the the four and five cylinder turbo Saabs which um, is more common around this sort of era in fact I think it was only than the uh, the S90 where you could get the V6 engine so it's very very smooth it runs beautifully I mean with a service history like that you kind of expect it to wouldn't you so if you're looking for a Volvo um, whether it's a 960, S90, whatever it may be, definitely come and have a look at this. Take it for a drive. This really is a credit to its previous owner in the condition and the service history. So yeah, give us a call. Um, if you are looking for a new car, take this for a drive. You're certainly not going to be disappointed. One of the best things about this car is, is the way it drives. It really is lovely. Even at the front, you can see it's got those little windscreen wipers. Generally, over the years, they tend to get broken off or the blades are missing or whatever. It's all there. And as far as I know, they work fine as well. 
So, we're the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville. We certainly do look forward to hearing from you.